hello guys and welcome in this video on medico channel so today i'm gonna be showing to you how you can draw a path on a google map using data set from your mysql database and i'm also going to show you how you can use your custom marks and also add some animation as you can see here so let's get started So before we start, I need to specify that you can download this project from the description below. And it also means the world for me if you hit the subscribe button for helping me doing more such of videos. Thank you. So you will need a couple of things for doing these tutorials. For example, you will need a local server. In my case, I'm using SAMP. If you don't have it, you can just open your web browser and type download SAMP. And the first link, you can just click on that and you will download SAMP in your computer. So the next thing is I'm using Sublime for coding my PHP, HTML, CSS and all those things. So if you are using a Tom, Notepad or whatever NetBeans, it won't be a problem. So and uh, one of the one of the most important things I will also talk about here is you need to put your project folder into your HD docs. So of of your local server. As you can see here I've created a folder that I call map. So this is the folder of my project and in that I created db.php, index.php, style.css and a folder for images. And those images are actually those here and uh, these two marks here. I will show you how you can add marks on your Google map. So actually think about to put your project in this folder and db will be the file that will help us creating our database index you actually know about in style. I, I'm pretty sure you know also what's going on there so now the first thing we need to do is to create our database so uh, instead of coming in uh, php my admin here and create a database yourself adding columns and all those things i decided to write a code for doing that because if i need to create another project then i can just come here and customize this and use this from for other purpose so you can just write this code and you can run this code for creating your database so what I mean by run, you can just come here instead of writing index.php, then you just give the name of the of your DB file. So in my case, I call it DB. So I will just come here and say DB.php. So as you can see here, can create database location database exists. So it's because I already created it. So you just have to run this code as I show you here and you will have the database created now let's move ahead and add some html tags before going ahead we i need to specify some couple of things about our database precisely the database has a table i call it location tab so as you can see here the table has two columns location latitude and location longitude so i already add some data in my data into my database but if you want to import data in your database simply you can go in the video that appears on the link on the top and there you will see how to import data from a csv file into a database but actually you can also add those data manually as you want so that's clear about the database so let's go ahead and add some couple of things now let's see how this layout has been built so it's quite simple as you can see the code here we just have simple things so i am pretty sure you already know about this I'm not going to explain to you about the CSS. You will also, you will simply uh, see inside of the code as you can see here. So these are CSS code and here you have the HTML and uh, it's quite simple. And uh, the button here actually it's for reloading the page. When you, when you maybe change something in the database or maybe you have uploaded new data into your database, then you can just click on reload and then the new path will be drawn on the screen here. You have the navigation here, which is actually this here. So it's quite simple. Now let's have a look on the PHP code. So as you can see here, I just load, I just try to connect myself with the database. And here I create three arrays, latitude, longitude and coordinate coordinate is actually a combination of these two guys i will show you why 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 I've, I've been doing that here i just select data from database and uh, here what i actually do i just fetch all data that i got from this selection here into this array here so and you can see here the most important things here is this guy here 
as you can see i've read i've written something uh, quite uh, weird here i said new google map let long and row location latitude and location longitude so this is actually a javascript code but now it's just a string later we will add this this array in our javascript code in the bottom and there we'll see how we can add some point by just adding this code there i will show you so now i can simply just add quite a little code here and show you why i'm saying that a code coordinate so i just print one value and show you something open the page reload the page so as you can see here we have many values but see this one here you can see new google map let long and there we have values and this just repeat itself but they are all separated with comma this is actually google map point that we have created inside of this table coordinate and later we will just call this table here for adding our point on our google map this is the main idea of that point so i'll just remove this so now uh, and here as you can see this is just for removing the comma in our last element on the table because the last one will have this comma at the end and we don't want that that's why i just trim i just trim the coordinate last element and remove the comma so this is about the php code now let's go ahead and see the javascript bar hey guys thank you for watching videos on my channel Please think about to subscribe for helping me doing more such of videos. About the JavaScript part, you will need to have to add this script here, actually. And in that script, you will need to have this, this key here. So you need to go to the Google page here. For example, the Google platform, maps platform, and there you will have, you have this here. When you click on this here, then you can generate a key. But actually you need to log in and create a project a kind of a project in which you will simply activate google map and then you will have this but if you don't log in you will also have a key but you won't be able to use google map on your project so you can just simply log in and create a project in my case here you can see data collector and this is actually what the key that i have for that project and this is the one I've been, i'm using here in this project here so and then you will we have the code here the first thing we do we just init the map so zoom center point and the type of grid i could also write here satellite so and here i just initialize the the center of the map on the first point if you remember the latitude and longitude table we've created before so here i just take the first element and i center my map on that point and i need to add php tags if i want to access those values of these tables so this is the idea and here i just create a map so this is actually where we draw our markers and route and coordinate points and all those things so actually here the next thing i create here is the coordinate of of my path root coordinate actually and if you remember i have created a table coordinate and in that table but it was just a string and I build and I show you how it was looking like on the screen. So this is actually what it's going to be written in this guy here. Where is it? Um, here actually, we will write that code here inside and we will generate with that the root coordinate. And when we have the root coordinate, then we can create a variable for the path. And that path need to have a root coordinate. That's one we've created here. So this guy, I actually don't know so you can remove the true and put the false and see what happened i don't know i haven't tried so and then you have the stroke color this is the color blue you have the opacity you can make it more transparent or whatever and the stroke weight you can put whatever value you want it can be more skinny or something like that so and the next thing i create two images or two, two icons or two marks the first one I call it mark is this guy, this image here. I call it mark.php png. And if you remember in our project, we had a folder with images. These images here is actually mark. And we also have flags. And flags is the this guy here. And as you can see here, I initialize my start point. The start point of my road is actually the first point that I have been loaded. From the database so latitude and longitude zero and the last point or the end point is just the last one in those tables 
and I still need to add the PHP tags if I want to access those values. So, and now I create markers. As I showed you before, here I just load images and here I create the markers. I specify some characteristic, for example, the star position. So the position of this marker is star position. This guy is end position. The position of this guy is end position, as you can see here. The map, I added in the map I've created here. And uh, the icon is mark, and this guy also icon is flags. Title, endpoint, and title star point. As you can see, if I put the, the pointer of that, then you see the text appears, endpoint and star point. And uh, we also have the animation. As you can see here, this guy is jumping on the die, bouncing on the die. It's because of this animation here. And we have this drop. For, for this guy, we have this animation drop. It's because when I reload, then the flag just failed. As you can see, it just failed as he's coming from, from the sky or something like that. So, and here I just simply set the road path on the map. That's what's going on here. So this road path I've created here. I just set it on the map and here I just add the event listing of a load. When every time the windows is low, then we initialize the Google map. And uh, that's it actually about the JavaScript code. And if you have all this, then you will simply have this code here. So then you will have your road appears on the screen. You can also uh, set the zoom so that it became more smaller and all those things. So guys, this is all for now. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, it's mean the world for me if you hit the subscribe button and uh, turn on the notification button too. So I will like to see you in my further videos. Stay creative. I will see you next time. So guys, thank you again for watching videos on my channel Medicode. Please remember, the way you can support me is by subscribing, liking and sharing my videos on social media. See you next time.